really liked, I like the Why glaze. don't you look at me when I'm talking to you? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well out on the table here in front of me, I have everything from our past two days of shopping with Sue, but I have a special guest here sitting in on today's haul video who wasn't actually present in the shopping adventures. I'm not no. No, you're not. But he is uh, sitting in. <laughs> I felt like it. He's sitting in. Um, but, but I just want to let you guys know that later on today, at some point, I will be dropping a bonus video where Andrew is out on his own in the great big world, <laughs> looking for treasures. And chaos. <laughs> and chaos. Um, at the flea market, I had promised you guys this video, and I'm gonna be dropping it later on today at some point, so make sure that you are looking for that when you get the notification. That's what that'll be. Um, so we're gonna be dropping this video this morning, and then later in the afternoon, you'll be seeing Andrew's video from the flea market. So look for that. But anyway. We're gonna go over the stuff that we purchased in the past two days worth of shopping. We visited the Goodwill and the Community Aid in Hanover with Sue, and we were a little bit late, so there's not like spectacular stuff out on the table, but there is stuff that we can make money on, so it's worth you know talking about and going over mm -hmm. some of this stuff. So let's get to it. Can you do this one? You want me to do that one? Yeah, can you do this one? Cause like, I would totally pick this up as carnival glass and can you explain to me like what this is? Like it's seriously. It's funny that you would pick that up as carnival glass because I've actually left that there for weeks and weeks because I'm like, well that's not carnival, that's just weird. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's got the carnival glass colors that that look, but it it's looks got carnival glass. stretch marks in it. I know, and so I thought that it was modern and I just left it there and it was actually my viewers that were like, hey, that's actually something. It's called stretch glass. And it dates back to, I believe they told me the 1920s, possibly earlier, but at least the 1920s. And I was like, wait, what? So I was kind of drawn to it after that and re after realizing that, wait, this is actually old. I think it's kind of cool looking though. Yes, and it does have that carnival glass quality. So it was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll take a chance on this and give it a shot. Now I did pay $6 for this piece at the Community Aid and it is a console bowl of some sort. But let's get a close up of this. So it's not technically carnival glass because it's got these stretch marks. It's, it's kind of weird, yeah. you know? Uh, I paid $6 for this. It is the Marigold and like most carnival glass and glass in general, the Marigold just doesn't have the same value as some of the other colors. So the Marigold Bowl would probably sell, I want to say $28 to $35, and it's I'm still going to make money on it. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's still not still, bad. You know, I learned for something to look for, so I feel like I got value out of that. Yeah, absolutely. In itself. Uh, and then we get to pass it along, too. Yeah, so it's called Stretch Glass, and it resembles Carnival Glass, but it's not. So. Cool. Isn't that interesting? I will keep my eyes open for that. Absolutely, you should. Learn something about that. Mm -hmm. So since Andrew picked up the piece of <laughs> stress glass, we'll start with the stuff that we got at uh, Community Aid. Okay. Why don't we talk about that elephant? Oh, oh, oh Stanley. <laughs> Stanley, your friend, Stanley. Stanley. Uh, <laughs> the googly eyes. Oh my gosh, stop it. His adorbs. I know, I might have tempted to keep him because I didn't even realize that his eyes were pointing in two separate directions until one of my viewers pointed it out. <laughs> and then I pointed it out to Andrew and it was like instant love because it's kind of endearing, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, his eyes are kind of... Googly. They're just, you know... Out there. Yeah. But I love I loved the glaze. It's this weird... It's this red glaze and I just like the glazing on it and I thought to myself you know those eyes are kind of different just the fact that they're so white and black compared to this glaze that's real bright red 
I thought the eyes were weird, and then I was like, oh wait, no, they're actually looking in two different directions, which is fine. He's like a little child elephant. I really liked, I like the Why glaze. don't you look at me when I'm talking to you? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say to Juliet all the time. <sighs> Juliet. Ashton, look at me when I'm talking to you. He's like, oh look, squirrel. <laughs> um, so I paid six dollars for this. I would expect to get like fifteen to twenty dollars. Like I would, ex cool. I would expect to make a whole lot of money off of that. It's you know I, he's actually kind of cartoonish. Yeah, that's what I like about him. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool, and I like the colors. And you know what? The kids haven't seen him yet, and I suspect if the kids see him, it's like he's not even gonna make it online. I do like Because Juliet has a little dog that's very similar, like a little blue dog. I don't know if you remember the little blue dog that Juliet has that she picked up in one of our videos, but it's very similar to this elephant. And she absolutely fell in love with this little blue dog, and it's, it's very similar. So. so it looks like they actually painted the tusks and the and eyes. Painted the eyes. The rest of it is a multicolored glaze. glaze, with the exception of the feet. Which are gold. They painted gold. And they put little felt thing, pads yeah, on them, yeah. On it, so. so actually, it's, somebody cared enough about this thing. Yeah. This is I. It, I like the. I like it. it I do cool. too. I, it was I think neat. he's pretty, pretty and different. Cool. And I was like, I got it. And I can't that. find any damage on him. Oh, good. I tried. I'm glad you tried. I tried. Thank you for trying. Uh, so another piece <laughs> that we got at the community is this guy here. Now, I suspect that this is relatively modern. This is something that I think ma my mom would find at our local farmer. Looks like that. Looks like some like 1980s made to look old. Yeah. So we have this local store called Ashcombs, and it's like this like farmer chic like store. Mm -hmm. And like I don't I don't even know how to describe it. But they've got lots of plants and stuff, and then they've got this like farmer farmhouse decor mm -hmm. and then I would expect that this would be a piece that you could go there and buy. I paid three dollars for it. I would expect probably to get 18 to 24 for it. It is a swan and it's got a, a fake crazing as opposed to a real crazing. It's obviously not actually old but it's intended to look old. Yeah and there's no mark. There's no mark on it. They but did put felt pads on the bottom. Yeah they did but it's it's not actually old it's just mm -mm. made to look old and again um, I would expect to find it at at Ashcombs. It is a still it's still a cool accent piece though. It is, absolutely. If you're decorating and you have that duck or goose theme going on. Well that farmhouse chic yeah. theme, you know? Yep. My mom's for a got good, that going um, on. Scouring pad dish on your sink. Put your scouring pads, your your sponges you in there. So? Oh, oh yeah. I'm thinking like like flowers and stuff and you're all about the If you're doing that in your kitchen, hey why not? Utilize it. Says the man who washes the dishes. <laughs> oh goodness. Yes. I it's do the it's bad for my nails. That's why mm -hmm. I, I let you do mm -hmm. it. All right. So another piece that I grabbed at the community aid, I paid five dollars for this. It is just a ceramic vase. As I smack my owl there, uh, it's just a ceramic vase. But I liked the glaze on it. Yeah. It's gonna be yellow and. Green some, yeah, mottled was glaze. Bluish green. Yeah, it was just kind of a nice glaze. I'm sure it was just probably a florist piece that, uh, you know, a vintage floral piece that they would deliver flowers in. Kind of like similar today where they deliver flowers in that uh, smiley face yeah. thing. You know, the stuff that you see all the time at the community is the smiley face thing. Yeah. Uh, I paid five dollars for this. I would expect probably it. I bought fifteen to twenty dollars for this, but it's not marked on the bottom. It's there is the residual sticker on the bottom. Yeah. I think it might be Royal Hager. They're all Royal Hager. Is this Murano? They're all Royal Hager. Is this Murano? It's not glass. It could no. still be Murano. Ceramic. So Everything that means is Murano. Ceramic means no. Royal Hager. Glass Mary. means Murano. Mary, I know you're watching. Is Come this on. Murano? Come on, stop it. You're confusing everybody. <laughs> All right, so uh, this piece right here paid five dollars for this. I actually found this on my way back through the shelves. I missed it the first time. Now I had pronounced this tonala. Apparently that is wrong. Apparently it's tonola. Okay. Um, and it's Mexican pottery. 
And I always like this. Every time I find it, I don't know, I, there's something about the quality of it. I, I like it, okay, here's what I like about it. I like that it's kind of this rough mm -hmm. bisque, and then it's got the glazed detailing. Yeah. I think that's what I like about it. It's decorated with exactly. glaze. Exactly. So we've come across pieces that have birds on it and fancy stuff. This, unfortunately, does not have birds. It's just However, a flower. it does have a beautiful flower on it, so it's it's not completely unfortunate. It is marked Mexico. It is not signed by the, by the artist. A lot of the times we will find pieces that are signed by the artist, which is always nice. But it's still a nice piece. That I would expect probably to get 20 to 25 for. And the inside is glazed. Is it glazed? The inside is glazed. Okay. So it would have a utilitarian use if you wanted to use it. Yeah. You could fill it. You, I mean, you could use it as a vase. Yep. Here. Vase. Oh, are we being like technical now? No, it's just my Philly accent. It's like saying water. Water. He you does. Some, he says water. My kids are now saying it. water. You put water my in it. My kids are like, oh, can we get some water ice, mom? I'm like, what the heck is a water ice? You water mean, ice. You go, you, to the, a, you go to Rita's, you, you get a water Italian ice. You Italian ice? No, it's a water ice. Oh, my gosh. All right, so. Forget about it. <laughs> I also picked up these measuring cups. Now, I just grabbed these for me. Paid $2 for these. <laughs> it's funny because. How many sets of measuring cups do we need? Yeah, but these ones are cute because they have birds on them. <laughs> so I grabbed these measuring cups, and it's it's oh, funny because I was reading through some of the comments on this video, and it's like, oh, you grabbed that right out of Sue's hand. Now, I think a lot of people don't realize, I think most people do, but there's a couple people who don't realize that when I start filming isn't the instant that the interaction begins. So, so in the instance of these, it was, I was looking at them, I said, Sue, what do you think of these? And I passed them to her, and I start filming. And then she's looking them over and you know, and I say, yeah. okay, great. And I take them back. And then you see me taking them back and you say, you took those right out of her hand. But no, I was basically, just asking her opinion on them. Yeah, basically the, the way the footage is Is edited, edited and chopped. It might look that way, but I'm not a yeah. bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like reading through these comments, I'm like, why do they I don't want think, to make me a I don't, bad person? I don't, I, don't, I don't think Sue would go out with you every week. No, she wouldn't. And if, if she... you were being crappy to her. Yeah. Like, and, and I really, honestly, truly, I know that she would absolutely say something oh, to you. Oh, she would, yeah. And probably even call you out oh, on it Oh, she absolutely would, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I think it's just getting read too much into it. Yeah. I mean, the same could be said about this bag that I picked up. So this bag I paid, I mean, these I'm keeping for myself. So I paid $2 for those. I don't even know what they would resell for. I do for. like these. And I actually took the tag off of this, so I'm not sure what I got this for. Only one bird, though. Um, it's disappointing. <laughs> the bird is only on the big one. Only on the big one. Mm, bummer. Um, <laughs> so I had grabbed this bag as well, and uh, I passed it up to Sue to see what she thinks. And then I started the camera. And then the interaction was Sue talking about it and me saying, okay, cool, I'll take it. And then people were like, well, you just took that right from her. And no, I didn't. I, I was asking her her opinion on it because I, I saw it. And she, Sue would back me up 100% on that story. I guarantee it. Uh, but I, I liked this bag. It, it has this uh, autumn, kind of this autumn theme. It looks like it's got a creek down below. I don't know. I just I, I'm really into autumn right now, and I'm like really hoping for autumn. Oh, to is that the one see. you guys were talking about that it's handmade? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. It looks like it's like hand. I don't know. I wouldn't say hand stitched, but I like the stitching on it. Mm-hmm. But there's no tags or anything, so I do believe that it is handmade. But ooh, it looks like yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah. So. I'm not sure how much I paid for that, unfortunately. I took the tab already. <laughs> <laughs> I already have it listed, so. I was gonna say, I don't think that was much. I think that was only a couple no, bucks. No, it was only a couple dollars. I mean, yeah. everything we got, we only paid a couple dollars for, so. Okay, uh, also with the community aid, we got. We got these. Yeah, we got these. Now these, I wasn't that sure of. Oh, how much can I get for this? Um. You know, I'm not really sure because it is one of a kind, handmade. I would expect to at least get $20 for it. So that's kind of our starting point. And of course I have it listed to auction, so we'll see if it goes above that, but I would expect to at least get $20 for it because it is a fall theme and we are coming into fall. Yeah. Hopefully, eventually, I mean, today it was 89 degrees out and I was like dying. <laughs> 
eventually it'll be fall. Um, but another item I grabbed were these. Now these I'm not really sure. Sue and I were having some debate on to whether these are for liquor or these are for espresso. So I wasn't sure if these were demi toss cups or if they were like doubles. I hate to break it to you. Oh no, it's got a crack a on it. A giant. A giant. It goes crack. all big. You, ooh, and it's. It's sharp. Oh yeah. Don't cut yourself. But you can. You can feel, feel it. it. Oh yeah. Oh man, that you know what? Because you can see see the joint <sighs> right there. That's where it impacted. I don't want to talk about it. It's a shame. To me all the time. That's a shame. It is a shame. Now they did I'm have sorry. the made in Japan stickers on them, so it was like I was kind of up in the air on them anyway. And I'm not sure how much they would go for. I feel like there would have been a multitude of colors. Yeah. But I'm not sure if they were for espresso or liquor. That was the thing. I think that they could be used for... Espresso? Uh, yeah, I, I would think I so. I feel espresso. Mm, let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah. I mean, when I was over in England, or when I've been like in the Netherlands, they have the little, mm -hmm. the little cups. Little fancy cups. Little fancy cups, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, anyway, so I grabbed those. Unfortunately, one is broken. I don't know. Uh, it happens. Mm, it, it does. It happens to me quite frequently, actually. <laughs> hey, it's, it's happened to me. This is a cute little that, spoon. Yeah, rest. Sue actually picked that up and turned it over, and it is vintage. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I paid $4 for that, and I'm not really sure how much that would go for. I want to say probably around 18. Is it, okay? is it okay to peel? No, donuts against the rolls. Oh my god. I'm oh wait, we already paid for it. It's okay. I'll still peel stickers. <laughs> I'll peel stickers all day long. No, that is kind of cool. No, I'd say about $18. I think the prices of this fall stuff are higher now than they would be any other time of the season because it is fall. So keep that in mind when we're giving these prices. Right now, if, if you're watching this video, three months from now, six yeah. months from now, right now it is the, going into the fall season. Season specific yes. items will work at that season, not and just, just a hair before, yeah. not after. Yeah, so I'm giving you these prices. These are <coughs> like specific prices for this season and they, they will only be good for so, a little bit. So your Halloween items aren't gonna sell for the same same price in January. Get rid of them now while you can. Yes. <laughs> so I also got these little salt and pepper shakers. These were uh, in Sue's cart and then she decided she didn't want them. So I was like, well, if you don't want them, I will take them. I would have grabbed them. Absolutely. I like them. They're just little fishies. And I saw a couple listings similar and they were actually calling them kissing fish. Hmm. But I didn't really think they were kissing fish. They, I mean, to me, the faces don't say we're meant to be kissing. I don't know. Mm. I mean, if both of their eyes were shut and they were making kissy faces. Uh, See, now he's looking off to the one side. Yeah, so. maybe. I didn't list them as kissing fish. I listed them as okay. just. So he's looking off to this side. No, I, right? I see that. I, oh, kind of like. <laughs> Don't get us demonetized. No, I seriously think. Oh, we've got a train coming. But I think I can get at least 12 to 15 for the fish. And we're going to pause the video because we've got a train coming. And we will be right back. It's a loud train. Okay, we'll be right back. See you in a bit. Okay. Okay, so we were discussing those, but I think we've settled on... About 15 bucks. Because they're cute. They are. And they've got little faces on them. Yeah. Little faces sell. So I feel confident that I can get about 15 for those. Now, the little, um, let's see. Wait, now these are community. Let's talk about these before I move on to the Goodwill. <coughs> now, I got these. These are my favorite thing in the whole world. Milk glass. Milk glass. Milk. Now, the reason I bought these and made an exception to my rule is because of quantity and because of the open lace. We talk about open lace all the time. Usually I would make an exception to my rule for a couple of reasons, one of which is open lace and a second, quantity. And there are six of these, so I decided that I would purchase six 
into these little dishes with the open lace. Now I'm not sure what the purpose of these dishes would be. I want to suspect that they would have had a floral frog on the top and may have been used for an arrangement. Mm. That is a guess. That is not 100%. I'm, I'm just guessing on that. Because the dishes are so shallow yeah. that it's they don't, hard to say. I, I was gonna say, they don't really seem to have a utilitarian purpose. No, there's no like obvious like, oh, this is what they're for. It's just, they're very shallow. They've got this foot on the bottom. Yeah. And I'm just not entirely sure what they would be used for, but there are six of them. And I figured, you know, if somebody was having a party and they knew what they were used for and they had maybe a floral frog and did a little, a little arrangement, yeah. they could be used at a party and be the centerpiece, maybe. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But uh, I listed them as a lot of six. Pay $2 a piece for those. So uh, I'm not sure how much I can get for those. I do believe that I've at least made my money back on them. That was a really loud car. I think that was a truck. That, that was, was a loud truck. Somebody that needed to overcompensate for a small motor. Oh, okay. Something like that. Yeah, no, I, I understand. No, no need for further explanations. Tiny shoes. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, at the community aid, and I think that's really it. Actually, that's everything we got at the community aid. I wouldn't know, I wasn't there. I know you weren't there, and I'm thinking, oh wait, no, we've got this. Ooh. It is a teapot. The moon handle. Or the moon handle. Now Sue picked this out, and she passed it along to me and gave me first dibs, which was very kind of her, because this is what friends do. And I had actually given her first dibs on a planter earlier, so we, you know, give and take a yeah, little, yeah, back and forth. I mean, that's what we do. So she gave me first dibs on this, and I decided to take it, because I love Halloween stuff. It is marked 1993 Omnibus. Now my understanding is that Omnibus is somehow related to Fitz and Floyd. So this is technically a Fitz and Floyd piece. Uh, but it's a jack-o'-lantern teapot with a moon handle. These sell between 18 and 24. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's cool too. It's very, very lightweight. Typical of Fitz and Floyd, the ceramic itself is. Oh, look just, at the raven. Oh, I know, yeah. On the lid. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's neat. I don't know how I missed it. I, th I feel like I've walked by it before and just didn't see it. And then it took Sue picking it up and putting it in my face for me to actually see it and be like, you know what? That's actually pretty neat. Yeah. I like that. There we go. So, it's a neat piece. Uh. And I think that is everything that we got at the community aid. So next we're gonna talk about everything that we got at the Goodwill. And we did pretty good at the Goodwill. Pretty good at the Goodwill. So, so we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we got, let's just talk about these planters first because they're right in my face. Uh, planters, I, I do moderately well on planters, just plain old mid-century they have that butternut squash look. They do. And they've got that, they're kind of fall looking planters, I mm. guess you could say. They kind of look like pumpkins. Kind of, yeah. Don't they? Yeah. So I think they're kind of perfect for fall. And this one, this one's interesting because it's got this yellow glaze, but it also has this kind of pink blush on this one side. Yeah. See what I mean? So anyway, for these, uh, for these planters, I typically, I want to say get... 12 to 18 dollars for those it's like they had a um like an error in the color yeah because it's it's all yellow and then this little blush of like orangey yeah. pinkish yeah that's really cool i love it hmm yeah so i've got a white one and i've got a yellow one it's so. a funky color it is, it is a funky color. I think those will be good. I also grabbed this piece, which is an art piece. I believe it is hand thrown because of the markings on the bottom. Uh, it looks like it. It looks like it was cut from the wheel. Yeah, they would have used a piece of copper wire. That's what I am thinking. Yeah. It is marked Gerard on the bottom, and I found one artist named Jan Gerard, and I do believe this looks similar to some of her work. It's possible that it is one of her pieces. 
but I cannot say for certain. A little more research, mm -hmm. or did you already list it? I've already listed it. <laughs> but I really like the glaze on it and how it kind of like just, it's like kind of like this molten like, yeah. you know, like drippy glaze yeah. and it kind of, I like the way it's glazed. I so, like the color too. Yeah, it's kind of like this speckled, I don't know, there's something about the piece that I liked. I think it was just the lines of it and the simplicity that it was just this organic shape not the crude as somebody pointed out in the comments like that's organic not crude i'm like oh yeah okay organic i like that i like that more yeah um but you can you can see on the edges where the glaze just kind of drips oh, yeah i like it but there's a signature on the bottom and uh, so that was an interesting piece now what else do we get fenton I ooh, always ooh. love finding Fenton on the shelves. And it's one of those things where I am so accustomed to seeing Fenton that I can spot it on the shelf like that. And it's signed. <laughs> and it's signed and, and it's hand painted. painted. And I saw it on the shelf and my eyes went straight for it. I grabbed it. I believe I paid a dollar for it. No, and this it's is a bug face. Called satin finish. It's a satin finish because it is not glossy. So when it's not glossy, it's considered satin. Okay. I want to say that it is Burmese glass. I feel like it is Burmese. So Burmese is kind of a yellowish pink. That would be considered Burmese. But the pink is so subtle. Yeah. Like you can't even hardly see. You know what I mean? Yeah. That it's more of a custard glass. Custard is yeah. just straight yellow. So I have it listed as custard. I would agree with that. Because, I mean, you can see it. But it's not, it's but not it's prominent. it's not like you would expect Burmese. So I, I've detailed that in the listing, but. Yeah. It might glow. Some custard glass glows. I never, I didn't test it. I was being lazy, I didn't test it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm just lazy, didn't test it. Oh, you wanna show them the pretty flowers on it? Yeah, it does have some pretty flowers on it. And it is hand painted. And I only paid a dollar for it. Nice. Yeah, I love when that happens. <laughs> so that's a nice piece. Uh, another piece I grabbed was this. Cookie jar? Yes. Does it who at you when you open it? Why don't you try it? Who? It was like a hoop. I don't, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Please don't cry. Stop! <laughs> no! I can't face. even do Stanley right look now. Look at my cute face! <laughs> my cute face! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 now, the cookie jar. <laughs> the cookie jar is not marked. I suspect it is Japan. Japan? Yes, and the reason being the weight of it. Yeah, it's really, really lightweight. Super lightweight. Usually, uh, usually the American meat pieces just have a lot more weight to them. Yeah. I don't know why. They, yeah. just, they just have a tendency to have more weight. So without knowing for certain, I would lean towards Japan. I would, I would think it would have to do with profit margins, the less material they're putting into this, the less quality material they're putting into it, the cheaper it is for them to manufacture, they can get more out. That's true. Um, that is true. You know, you figure if they took, say the, here's an example. I know, the weight of that compared to this, that being smaller is if just. They, if they took one third of the clay from this, they could make another one. And then make take another third. So you could you could in essence take the clay from this one pot and make three of them. And make three. Oh I know. And just way, way, way make And they were sitting a lot of next money. to each other on the shelf, so it was so funny to pick up one and feel the weight of it. Yeah. And then pick up the other piece which is smaller and feel like, oh my gosh, this is yeah. so much more substantial. I can't get so. over how heavy these I are. I know, right? It's like a murder weapon. I know, right? So yeah, you think those are heavy? Here. Stone bowls. Oh my 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So these are another couple pieces that I picked up at mm. the Goodwill. They are Langley, Made in England, Denby. Yeah. Uh, I paid $4 for those. I absolutely adore them. And I was actually online looking for other pieces of this set because I wanted to make this my set of dinnerware. And boy, are they expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So uh, just to complete a set, it's a lot of money. Wow. So they're, they're worth a lot of money. I think my plan is to hold on to these bowls and to slowly scour the thrift shops and piece together a set. Because if you look over there, under my other camera, mm -hmm. and grab that, because that's part of this haul and I completely forgot about it. Ah, well look Oopsies. at you. We had picked these up at the Goodwill and then right after that, oh yeah, we Dendy. found this piece, which is a serving platter by the same company. Uh, Denby, China. I thought that said Langley. Yeah, Langley and Denby are somehow related. Because when I was looking them up... That one's got a windmill. Yeah. And it says Langley. And they're, I, some, they're somehow related. Because when I was looking them up, it was I like... I wonder connected. if they're like the sim same area where the clay comes from, possibly? No, I think they're somehow the same company. Okay. Because so, I was trying to find sometime. similar pieces so that I could piece together a set. But, I mean, this matches... I mean, the edging of that matches this. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to piece, I'm going to very slowly, piece by piece, get together a set, and that'll be that. I think that's what's going to happen. So, these are just incredibly heavy because they're stoneware. Yeah. I mean, they're like, you look them ridiculous. and you're like, oh my gosh, those yeah. are so heavy. Uh, so I would not recommend trying to ship. No. All of those at and, once. And I was looking online, looking for pieces like to complete this set. I mean, I guess you could set. do a flat rate box, but you have no idea. Oof. I was looking at pieces to complete the set, and they had actual full sets. Oh that man! You could buy for like two hundred dollars the entire set. Can you imagine shipping an entire set of this oh, with no. plates and bowls and no. like? Oh my gosh! Like no. I don't even. This has got to be ten pounds. I know. Ten pounds for seven bowls. Seven bowls. And you think an entire set with all the plates and everything, you're talking like 30 pounds. That's a big box with lots of expense. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we also got this. Do you want to talk about this? Because this is more your wheelhouse and not mine. It's transferware. It's transferware. Uh, normally I come across this stuff and it is broken or chipped or somehow damaged. This piece, unfortunately, does have a lot of discoloration, which you probably noticed if you watched the video. Yeah, I like the earlier pieces. Andrew likes the earlier pieces, which is why I got it, because I thought, you know what, he might like this. I paid a dollar for it. He decided it doesn't fit. it's not early enough for him. Yeah, he being likes an the age, really early pieces. Being an age snob. Yeah, which is fine with me because I don't mind selling it. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll sell it. No problem there. I paid a dollar for it, uh, and it's not damaged, aside from the discoloration. Yeah. So, how much do you think I can get for that? Um. Ten. It's probably about a fifteen dollar oh, piece. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Even on the discoloration. Yeah, it's about a fifteen dollar piece because there's no damage. No, there's none. None well, that I could find yet, anyway. Oh, let him look. Give me time. Let me feel it. <laughs> Um, so a few other pieces. We had the New Orleans Owl. I come across these figurines quite frequently. This would probably sell between $12 and $15. It is just a little owl figurine with the original sticker on it. Made in Japan. So he was nice. And then of course our resin owl. A lot bigger. And he's got these eyes that just like pierce through your soul. No damage. You're oh, lucky. good. He's spoken. You're lucky. He's spoken. No damage. Um, this piece, I would expect to get 18 to 24. He's cool. He is cool. I really like him. He's pretty detailed. He is. He's every one of his feathers is like a yeah. its own, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. So I liked him. And last but not least, 
another planter. Another planter, which I would expect to get in 12 to 16. I feel like we've had that shape, that style mm -hmm. in like multitudes of colors. I know. I always pick them up because they sell well. I mean, and they don't sell amazingly well, but, but they But people they people like that yeah, style. Yeah, it's a mid-century yeah. mid-century style. Uh it's vintage. And this one's kind of like, you know what? This one almost has Art Deco lines to it. And, and they're not that expensive. No, and they told, they sell for 12 to $16. And yeah. I, I usually pay just a couple bucks for them. So yeah. they're an easy flip and people enjoy them. So this one, somebody actually drilled holes into Drain them. holes. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's everything that we got in the past two days with Sue. I think we did, I, I think I did pretty well. Mm. What do you think, Stan and Sue? Did I do okay? Your favorite. I think you did just fine. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be our mascot from now on, I feel. I feel that's our mascot. I feel like he needs to like live in the orange bowl and just pop out occasionally. Is that what you feel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it's too late. I need sleep. I do too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I the past two days worth of videos. Remember that later today I will be posting a bonus video of Andrew at the flea market. Finding stuff. Meeting other YouTubers. Yes. And stuff. And stuff. Um, I haven't actually reviewed the footage yet. I have to edit it tomorrow. <laughs> so I have no idea what's going to be in this video. Uh, I'm kind of looking right. forward to it. Yeah. I hope it's alright because now that I've talked about it, I have to put it out no matter what you put in it. I will see you all tomorrow. After a good night's sleep. After a good night's sleep. <laughs> Later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.